On HP's website, the HP Pavilion 14, 14 DV40, can be found under the Laptops for School section. However, branding this device as a laptop for school doesn't do it justice, because this is a good machine, which can handle more than Zoom calls and the occasional office apps. This can be a fantastic everyday laptop, due to its zippy performance, both in the CPU and GPU department. The iGPU is in fact, so good that you can even do some gaming, but don't get your hopes that high up, as we're mostly talking about esports titles. However, there is also the discrete option of the MX450 which is NVIDIA's best power-efficient GPU up to date. Today we are presenting you with Laptop Media's top 5 picks about the HP Pavilion 14, 14 dv 40s The laptop has some premium materials in its build which is greatly appreciated, considering its price. The body is made out of plastic, but the lid is 100% metal. The base material isn't specified but we get that cool-to-the-touch feeling, which at this point is synonymous with metal. There is some flex in the body, but the lid remains solid. The weight and height are also very manageable, sitting at 1.54 kg and 17 mm, respectively. The lid opens easily with a single hand, up until 80 degrees, and after that, you would have to secure the base with your hand. Doing so reveals an anti-glare display with thin bezels and a 720p 30fps webcam. Please remember, it would be of great help to us if you just hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. That would motivate us to make even more and better videos for you. There are a total of three display options that come with this device. They all have a diagonal of 14 inches and a 16 to 9 aspect ratio. The first one has a 768p resolution and uses a TN panel, which at this point is pointless and you should avoid, as IPS panels have become the norm nearly everywhere due to their superior viewing angles, contrast ratio, and color representation. The second display has a full HD resolution and is actually the one that we had in our review unit. There is also a 4K display, which is only available in some regions. The full HD panel has excellent viewing angles, an average maximum brightness of 266 nits, with a deviation of 14% and a very high contrast ratio of 1420 to 1. The panel is PWM-free at all brightness levels, which is great for prolonged use. Unfortunately, it covers only 54% of the sRGB color gamut, which is a bummer, but at this price, you should expect it. The color accuracy, on the other hand, is decent even without our design and gaming profile, which brought down the Delta E value from 4.1 to 3.2. You can see the results of the color accuracy test with both the stock settings, left, and with our design and gaming profile applied, right. The laptop comes with upgradable RAM and storage. There are two SOTOM RAM slots that work in dual channel mode, increasing the performance, especially in laptops with iGPUs, which heavily rely on fast RAM. According to HP, the laptop only supports up to 16 GB of RAM, but we have found that the limit is actually 32 gigabytes, which is more than you'll ever need. Storage-wise, there is one M.2 PCIe X4 slot for future expansion. Here is our detailed teardown video, which shows how to safely get access to both the Sodom and M.2 slots, without damaging the fragile internal components. The keyboard plus touchpad combo might be the best feature that this notebook has to offer. The keyboard has pretty large keycaps, which is always appreciated, and the font is big and easy to read. The power button is very similar to the backspace and delete button so you might accidentally press it, but HP has thought of that and made sure that one press does nothing. The keyboard has long key travel, and clicky feedback. Some units, get a two-stage backlight, which further makes it more comfortable during late hours. The only caveat is the small up and down arrow keys, but we're just picking at straws here. The touchpad is also quite big, and while it doesn't have that smooth of a surface, it offers accurate tracking. Next to the touchpad, you will find a fingerprint reader and a Bang & Olufsen logo, which signifies that they have tinkered with the speaker setup to make it sound better. The laptop has a relatively small 43.3 Wh battery unit, which for a 14-inch laptop is pretty good. However, the battery life wasn't as good as we expected, with the laptop lasting for only 7 hours of web browsing and 8 hours and 38 minutes of video playback. As always we do our tests with the Windows Better Performance setting turned on, 
screen brightness adjusted to 120 nits, and all other programs turned off except for the one we are testing the notebook with.